Hello ladies and gents, Maturian5 here and I got a triple threat of movie reviews for you. That's right, kind of three movie reviews in one video. Oh boy, uh, this one's so epic that I decided to uh, flip the camera around. Instead of using the uh, front facing camera, I decided to use the uh, rear facing camera. This way I can use the built in light into the camera. So. Let's get this thing going. I'm going to do these in order of which I saw them. Not in the order I liked them, but just in the order I saw them. So the first thing, uh, first movie I'm going to do is Lucy. Uh, this Lucy, uh, this, <laughs> Lucy, this movie is very interesting. Um, it had me going really good. Um, I was wondering how it was going to end, what was going to happen, everything. Um, if you haven't heard of this movie, uh, it's about a woman who um, unwillingly receives the ability to uh, use 100% of her brain. Um, little spoiler, she doesn't get it right away. Uh, it progresses through the movie. Uh, every now and then it'll show like a little percentage on the screen, like 25%, 30%, 40%, or something like that. And uh, now uh, the drug, okay, is that supposed to give her uh, this ability um, doesn't do it automatically, uh, like I said, uh, but she needs extra um, at the end. Uh, which pushes her over that 100% mark. Uh, now, when that, she gets that 100% mark, that's when the movie gets really interesting. Um, I mean, weird shit just happens. I mean, she could travel through time. She could control time. She could do this. She could do that. She could go into space and... Uh, and what also seems like is that it's also all happening, it all seems like it's happening all in her mind. Because it shows her in this space and then it'll go back to her just sitting in this room. Uh, which is really interesting. Uh, it would have been better if, you know, everybody could have seen it or something. I don't know. I don't know how that would have worked, but whatever. Um, but, um... Now, for my initial review of the movie, um, I thought it was great. I thought it was an awesome movie. It had great fight scenes. It had great special effects. Uh, the, the story is a little... You really got to use your imagination on it because it really jumps you right into it. Um, uh, she has almost no backstory whatsoever. All it seems like that she's... Uh, some sort of, uh, some playgirl, I don't know what, there, there's almost no backstory to her. Um, but it, like, but it just jumps you right into it, and, uh, th I'm going to warn you, this movie is not for everybody, um, especially the religious, um, because it, at one point she goes back in time and she goes back to uh, 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 like the uh, Neanderthal age uh, like predate like before the Neanderthal like a little bit um, so if you're into religious like in the Adam and Eve kind of thing uh, that might be a little controversial for you uh, but other than that um, I'd say go, go see it. Um, like I said, it's not for everybody. Ah, shoot my eye. Um, uh, so, uh, I, I say go see it, but, you know, if you've seen the, the, uh, trailer and everything, it doesn't seem interesting to you, of course, you don't have to go see it. Okay, next movie. I actually got the chance to go see the AVGN or Angry Video Game Nerd movie at the Tivoli, the famous Tivoli here in St. Louis. And I was thrilled to go see this movie. I 
almost could not pay attention to the movie because I was just too freaking excited to be there. <laughs> um, now, the, the movie is a very low budget, if you can only imagine. Um, and the movie is everywhere. I mean, the movie just goes everywhere. I mean, everything you can ever imagine that can happen in a movie happens in this movie. And it's just mind-blowing at uh, how far they took it. I mean, for this to be a low-budget movie, I can only imagine what they would be able to do if they had more money. I mean, this movie was funny. It was out of this world. Uh, it was just... It's it just everywhere. <laughs> I mean... Uh, the, it was very low budget, so they they took like a plastic car and they uh, <laughs> they, they just melted it. They just, just set it on fire and melted it, and that was their special effect. The plastic car, <laughs> and you can see the wheels falling off and everything. It was it was hilarious. Uh, not to mention the um, the uh, the cameos in the movie. I mean Mattel. Uh, Mike Mattel was in the movie, uh, and the guitarist, I can't remember his name, uh, was in the movie. Um, Andre, uh, the black nerd, uh, was in it. Uh, there was a lot of cameos. I mean, there was even one guy that I didn't even know who it was. And he showed up on the screen, everybody's cheering, I have no idea who the guy was. <laughs> it was some old, bald guy, uh, whatever, I'm not going to get into very many details, uh, except for all the cameos. Um, spoiler. <laughs> okay, uh, so um, this movie is very limited. Uh, I don't know if it's coming into your town or not. Uh, you could check out his website. I think it's cinemassacre.com. Or yeah, um, but you could check out his website and go see if uh, the movie's showing in your area. And that's how I found out. Uh, now for to go see it at the Tivoli, I think it was like, uh, 16 bucks. Um, I don't know how much it would be in your area. So, uh, have it at least 16 bucks in your pocket, uh, before you go buying your ticket. So, alright. Uh, oh, uh, it's coming to digital sometime in September. So, look out for that. Okay, next movie. Uh, we went to go see uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> this movie is really interesting. Um, it's funny, it's action, uh, graphics, everything. It's, it's everything you pretty much want in a movie. At least everything I want in a movie. Um, now... It, it doesn't end in any cliffhanger. Uh, if you go see the movie, stay after the credits. Because there's a little bit of a cameo in the movie that you have to see. And the, the credits aren't very long. You won't be sitting there forever. It's not like uh, uh, Pirates of the Caribbean or anything where you're sitting there for half an hour waiting for whatever scene that's supposed to be at the end of the movie. Um, but uh, you will be sitting there for about at least, uh, five minutes, maybe, tops. Uh, Bill seem like, uh, maybe not that long. I don't know. But stay after <laughs> credits, because there is, a, like I said, a bit of a cameo at the end of the movie. Uh, I do suggest you highly go see. I do highly suggest you go see this movie. Um, if you're not that big of a Marvel fan, sorry, it is a Marvel movie. If you're not that big of a Marvel fan, if you've never heard of Guardians of the Galaxy, the comic book or anything, I never heard of them. I've never been that big on uh, comic books, but I do highly suggest you go see this movie. It's funny, graphics, action, story, everything is great. So, 
All right, that's um, all I got to say. That's uh, the three movies. Um, all right. Uh, all right. I think it went pretty good. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. When, and tell me what you think about uh, this video in the comments. Uh, all right. Um, talk to you guys later. Bye.